students we will start a very new chapter that is friction and in friction we will be studying about the solid part and liquid part so that is uh, frictions in solids and liquids so let us start with the definition and the cause of friction 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 is basically a force that opposes relative motion between two bodies in motion two bodies which are the sliding one over the another that means when one body slides over another body so there should be a physical contact of one body with the another body so when one body moves over the other body then friction acts and the friction acts friction is uh, an opposing force which tries to oppose the relative motion so that we will uh, understand in detail so first we will write the definition that friction will oppose the relative motion it never opposes the motion of object okay that will write that it will oppose the relative motion between the two surfaces in contact and then we will discuss about the cause of this friction okay so first write the definition whenever there is a relative motion between two bodies in contact a resistive force comes into play which opposes the relative motion between two objects. The definition says that whenever there is a relative motion between two bodies in contact. So first we will understand what is a relative motion. A resistive force comes into play which opposes the relative motion between two bodies. So that we will discuss now why there is opposition to relative motion that we will understand but before that we will write down the cause of what is the cause of this friction. The basic cause of friction is that uh, because any surfaces that you see it, soon, it seems to be either uh, rough or it is smooth. For example this paper seems to be smooth compared to the surface of road which is more or so is rough. So whenever two surfaces are such that the whether it is smooth or rough if microscopically if you see the surfaces the surfaces will have some ups and downs some peaks and valleys and therefore when one body slides over another body that is interlocking interlocking means that one surface when slides over another that is interlocking so the peak and valley of one object and the peak and valley of another object surfaces they get interlocked and therefore that prevents the relative motion it was the old view that uh, because of this interlocking of the, the two surfaces the, the motion is prevented so that is why this is supposed to be the cause it is because of the interlocking interlocking of two surfaces okay second is the it is because of the intermolecular force of attractions these two bodies are moving because they these more bodies the surface molecules they attract each other okay is because of
intermolecular force of attraction whether it is cohesive or adhesive so these are the cause of motion i will just tell you in the with the help of some one diagram we will understand that this is one object whose surface this part i have drawn like this and uh, there is another object say it is like this okay when the this is suppose a body a and this is body b when a i push this with the force f it starts moving when it starts sliding when you can see these are the wavy wavy surface that we call interlocking when this when this is gently pushed towards right they get interlocked okay so this this is these are the this is called the peak and this lower point is called the valley so this peak and valley gets interlocked okay so that prevents the ready motion okay this is uh, the cause of friction that means if the surface is smoother the friction will be less so this is the definition of friction and cause of friction okay thank you